Health reporting has never been easy. The stories are almost always complicated. Our program is all about giving journalists the tools they need to do great work. The Health Journalism Fellowships, which is funded by a grant from the California Endowment, has trained 350 journalists since it first got started in early 2005. Now we're a driving force for better health reporting throughout California and across the country. We recruit talented journalists from both mainstream media and ethnic news organizations. We provide them access to prize-winning journalists, visionary community leaders, scholars, scientists, and healers, all with the intent to inspire. I just want to show you one example of just how words are important. Do you know what Willie Nelson's original title for this song was? Stupid. <laughs> he originally wrote this as stupid. <laughs> da -da -da. Now just think about this. <laughs> Does that put a whole different thing on us? It's one word can make a huge difference. And now click on, start, start clicking areas of the map. It gives you a shape, and then you can fill the color, you can change the fill color there. So it's good for showing an area. As a health reporter on deadline, you have to deal with complexity. There's statistics, there's government policy papers, medical studies, databases. You have to do your homework or you run the risk of missing the point. I learned this the hard way. My first job in health news was at CNN, and as the new guy, I had the dubious honor of being the one to answer the phone in the medical unit whenever the, uh, whenever the assignment desk would call. And so I'd pick up the phone, I always dreaded when the phone would ring, but I'd pick it up and they'd start screaming, medical, they'd never learned my name, they'd just call me medical, and started, uh, <laughs> and started uh, screaming about something they'd see on the wires and want to know ASAP whether that should be covered, whether it was newsworthy, how it should be covered, and I had to give them a really quick answer. Journalists who participate in this program are better prepared to find the stories that haven't been told, to ask different questions, and to dig deeper into the complex health issues that affect all of us. It's research, and I'm sorry, you know, it's just like we, some things are not, you know, are not amenable to just like, we'll pour more money in the top of the beaker, and then we're gonna get an answer at the bottom. That's not the way science works. To do a good job reporting on health, you have to understand people. Health stories can be intensely personal, and in our increasingly diverse society, reporters need to know how to approach someone from a different culture, how to break down language barriers, and recognize different stories. I know um, the botanical name first, the double name in Latin, and then the, so I learned most of the, my plants by learning. So we're translating across four languages here. <laughs> We don't shy away from controversial topics. It takes a certain fearlessness to be a good journalist. When you write about a, ho a prominent hospital's bad news, they don't, they're not, it's not like they're gonna be excited about this. They're going to be aggressive about it. They're going to call your editor and explain their community institution and what a bad thing this can do. But in the case of King Drew, this was a hospital that provided you know, a vital safety net for a community that had not enough facilities to provide access for the community. And some people said, you know, you're trying to destroy this hospital that is providing care for a community that needs the care. But you know, one could say, if you're not reporting about it, then aren't you just condoning a community that is predominantly minority receiving an inferior level of care? This is the age of digital journalism, and we want to capitalize on the new tools that are available in our journalism education program as well. So we're launching an ambitious new website that will be filled with cutting-edge health reports, sources of information, videos, and interactive features to help health journalists connect and share information. At its root, this program is all about making connections. Creating a place where working journalists can share their experiences, improve their craft, and then get right back into the newsroom where they can really have an impact on how health issues are covered.